Kabisa. Truly. Tusomee hiyo. Read for us. Matthew uh, Mark 11:24-25. Kwa sababu hiyo nawaambia yeyote mwa ambao mkisali aminini ya kwamba mnayapokea nayo yatakuwa yenu. Nanyi kila msimamapo na kusali sameheni. Mkiwa na neno juu ya mtu ili na baba yenu aliye mbinguni awasamee na ninyi makosa yenu. Lakini kama ninyi amsamee wala baba yenu aliye mbinguni hata awasamee ninyi makosa yenu. Therefore I say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. And when he stand praying, forgive if he have ought against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if he do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. I found myself right here. Okay. Rimba. I was asked, what's wrong with you? What do you have, young man? Because I'm so hard working. After the word I leave, I stay here for counseling. Because I don't know, I know that is the way to sanctification. But in my heart, beside the diligence to confess, my heart is not pure. I confess the curses from my parents I committed. But my heart is not pure. From my home to this place, my heart is not pure. At home I'm murmuring. I feel I'm not treated as a Very many things I don't share to anyone. I don't speak to anyone. I don't speak to my partner. That this matter here, this is not how I like it. I have... I feel like she's supposed to know this. Kujua. She ought to know this. Ni that is mamare. Why this? Now, many questions are in my heart. It's it's better one who said the truth. I, dear, you've done this, why? You've rooted out what is in your heart. That's why you can see one singing and singing. Yet he's singing because of singing because of bitterness. I was that way. When your heart gets to what? It will get to singing. A lot of hymn songs. I don't feel like talking to anyone. I don't feel like talking to such a person. I start from where you're talking to such a person. So, not having any agenda to talk to her. It will sound like I'm full of the Holy Ghost. I'll sing every chorus and the hymn song. The intention, lest she gets a chance to talk to me. Singing and singing. There's only one way and when, one way out. That's a heavenly gate. I sing because of bitterness. In the evening, I get, asthma comes back. Okay. The men of God think again. This young man, all the works he does here, he ought to be well. I'm called, Rimba, come here. You ought to be well. And I was so hard working. Even if I stay overnight suffering, but when it dawns, even if I'm not able to take a cup of tea with me, feeling like I stayed home and failed to come here and work, I'll come here very early. Because I go where else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Personally, I'm surprised. I have the faith in me. But why should I get to life? Why should I be led and let Jesus Christ is the same today and today and forever. And forever. And forever. And He'll never change. Why to sound like He has changed? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has not changed and he'll never change. It's a human being who will change. He is saving. He endures to save. He blesses. It's a human being who will change. Hallelujah. Amen. I had questions. What is the hindrance here? At times wellness, at times and Jesus doesn't vanish. He says he came that we have abundant life. 
To those who believe that is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I had believed. <laughs> Why shouldn't I get to life? I'm not stopped to go to any other But I was there and it defeated all. That's why I heard there's one leading people. I've been taught. This is caused by the spirit of accession to the parents. I speak this every day and repeat. I have questions every day here. I'm proud of confessing the curse, okay? But my soul is not clean, murmuring, blaming. I found myself, I don't get to perfect life. Is your heart clear? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are lacking something maybe. You have any failure. But in your heart you have nothing against it. You don't blame anybody for, for your failures. You tell God forgive me. Because you are not unjust to forget somebody's work. Again you say you work with those who believe. Forgive me my disbelief. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.